Welcome back to episode 6 for our Inquisition run of the Legends mod. Sorry it's taken us so long to get back into the series. I did need to take a couple of days to just really focus down on making those build videos. Um, it was so distracting and so hard to just try and pump those out. So apologies for the wait, but hopefully those videos can help you guys in your own playthroughs uh, when you are playing the mod. But we're back into it and we're ready to go. And we're going to try and do one hour videos from now on. Hopefully that helps you guys be able to keep up with the content and that I don't put out too much uh, to keep you guys from missing out on all the fun. Now, it's been a while since I've touched this uh, save because it has been a few days. So I do have to remember, oh yes, we left episode five with the amazing addition of a Holy Crusader to our party. Now, if I remember correctly, we are, yeah, we're out of money. And we're spending 312 crowns a day. That's just... Oof. Oh boy, we need to get money in fast. But our party is doing quite well. Quite strong at the moment. And we just need to nurture this guy. He's got a great weapon to start him off. But we do need to nurture him and get him up to a really good level. And I think we can do it. Let's see what quest we have available. We've got a one day cargo... I mean, we really have to take anything we can get here. Oh, that's right, we killed a demon hound as well recently. Man, we're doing really well. I am enjoying this run. Um, Seftenberg, isn't it? Yeah, we can take this. We need any coins we can get. 300 bucks a day, that's insane. We really need some quests to pay us out with money. There is a two-star. Oh, no. And as what I thought. It's witches. Oh, dearie me. I mean, they're paying us a lot. But Hexen are a hard fight. They're always a hard fight. I really don't think we have a choice. Look at that. We're going to be out of money in a day. I know these guys are going to give us a good quest, but I think we need to take this Hexen quest. I don't want to take it, but I don't think we have a big choice. Oh, also, congrats on the level up, man. Didn't realize you got yourself a level up. Um, Oh my goodness, he's level 10 already. I think he needs some more fatigue. Maybe? Or does he need the attack? Yeah, we'll go with the fatigue. He's already doing really well with his mind over body. He's got 23% with 102 resolve. He's gone down to 24 fatigue per spell that he casts. That's pretty good. Um, What else does he need defensively? Because we are making him a tank. Ah, that's right. We'll need Battle Forged and Brawny on him. So we'll keep trying to stack that higher armor. As best as we can. Sadly, that is something we are lacking a little bit. We do need a bit better armor. We're doing amazing with our paddings, but yeah. Okay, I guess we just wait for Hexen to come. Wait a minute. We have an option to give up the boy. Oh, but that means we won't get paid. I'm sure those are those are good. Those are good options. But we we desperately need to get paid. Oh wow, it's still nighttime? It looked like it was daytime out there. Oh no. Oh thank goodness that we resisted it. Yeah, no, it is still nighttime. Um, for you, buddy, let's put you back here just in case she turns anybody important. Oh, they've got a marksman. And a bear? Oh, no. <laughs> Bears are strong. They really are. There's two of them? But there's only one hex. Okay, okay, we might still be able to do this. I just don't know how we're going to... 
the hex is just going to be painful. Yes, yes, you're cackling a lot. Okay, let's just go for the wait so we can do more damage next. Just wait, just wait, just wait. This is what we wanted. We want to go here. Nice double hit. Don't know how he took him, though, because he's only rolling on 50s, man. That was good. Let's wait. Wait and wait. Hopefully these guys rush us. No, they're defending the hex. I'm scared of those bears, man. Okay. Um, I think we're safe enough to move to the low ground. I mean, you've got horrible defense. But I think we need to get a bit more damage on these guys. Dang it, it didn't kill. But we can move here and get the kill. There we go. I think we'll just hang back. I know that's not the best strategy for Hexen. But I don't think we have a choice, because these bears will mess us up. And if we get out of a bad position... Yeah, like that. That's not fair, man. 355s. No, no. No! Oh, boy. Axe in three turns. Holy crap, that's gonna hurt. Oh, the bear put us in a good position. Thanks, man. Also, she hit up on a 77. Yeesh, man. Can I go here and just hit her backwards? Yes. Um, let's sweep. Beautiful. Can I move up? Nice, that puts him on a better high ground. Um, this bear needs to go. This direwolf needs to go. Um, who needs health? Not really. So nobody needs buffs at the moment, but I think we need this stun. And I think you're the person to get the stun, so we'll wait. Okay, I probably maybe should have shield walled there, but that's okay. Uh, can we daze this bear? Probably not. Can we stun him? Immune dist- oh no, that's bad. Okay, we're dealing with like a fat orc right here. So damage is the- oh wow, we got stunned as well. Uh, damage is the only thing we know. And without any armor? This is bad. Let's move here, I guess. And Quick Hands doesn't help us at all with this, because we don't have a reach weapon. Really wish we did. I'm not risking going next to a bear with this guy. Oh, you're staggered. Dang it, that ruins you to attack twice a turn. Because Clarity doesn't work when you're staggered. Dang it, we almost got that wolf. That means you rushing up to this bear is useless as well. Um, maybe Prayer Face is the right choice here. To try and protect this polearm from getting wrecked. Uh, and just end our turn and move here and end our turn. No way. Really? He has a 61% chance to just randomly hit our guy? I honestly think that this bear is not as threatening as these guys over here. And we miss an 86. We need to heal him up badly. And the only way we can do that is get into dangerous zones. Let's do it. New guy, what are we doing? We're waiting. Okay, the bear's rolling on 17s, so that's very good to see. Um, big guy, what do we do? 
there's nothing we can do to save this guy, other than him just healing up and surviving. And making yourself look a little bit more like a target. Let's try and rush that hex a little bit. Yeah, we can't move any further. Um, so that means if this guy's immune to stun, it's... Once again, the tooltips don't show very well for the days. Um, so yeah, he's not able to be dazed. So we just hit him. Um, also, stun one of these, please. Yes, that means you might survive this. The bear is... Interesting. Let's move here and hit the bear. Nice. Oh, I forgot about those two. And I forgot about the marksman. Okay, the bear's getting a bit sad. Please don't kill us. Oh, thank goodness he hit us in the head. Because we still have armor for our head. No, not again. The bear can hit at a reach? Holy crap, and he rolled a three as well. Jerk. Let's sweep him. No way. How is she so good at beating up our own guys? Oh boy, I don't like this at all. Lucky hit. Good job, man. Uh, we need more Prayer of Life, please. Uh, can I just taunt you? That would be really, really helpful. Nice. Uh, I want you to run. Yes, the bear's dead. He didn't drop anything, seemingly. That's sad. Okay, the nun might not be doing so well. And you're not doing so well either. Ouch. Oh, this hex needs to go so badly. And this bear is not taking many hits. Sheesh. Also, we can't just rush because there's a direwolf just waiting for us to do something stupid. We need to rush with our... oh my goodness. The support tank, I think, is the right choice. Oh, thank goodness. Now we can rush with this support tank. Good. Dang it. You, I, I just sit next to the support tank, I guess. Wait, so I can do prayer of... Oh, I can't do prayers. Dang it. Here we go. Go this way, be useful. Oh, no, I put her next to that thing. I need to put her away from things, because she's a big target at the moment. Uh, end your turn. Ultimate tank, please rush. New guy, go here, I guess. Polearm, you're doing good for health, so let's go up here. And tank, just stay here. Okay, that's not bad. The bear is not doing too bad. Prayer of life. Okay. We're getting really lucky on these hex hits. Nice. We need to keep getting lucky on these hexes. One, two. Um, the weak? I don't know what to do. Should we put... I think we should just utilize the polearm people, so let's put you back here. And keep you as hex bait, pretty much. 
Uh, we'll wait here. Try and go for that hit. Nope, okay. Uh, you're weak, but I guess we can just finish your turn. Going over here, because you can heal a little bit. Oh, it didn't really heal that much. Dang it, I was banking on a higher heal. Oh my goodness. Wow, you're taking too many hits as well. Oh boy. Um, we're in a bit of a pickle fighting uphill here. Ultimate tank, please come through for us. We just had enough fatigue to get up there. I don't know where to put you. Maybe come around the back? That was good. It didn't really break any morale, specifically. Okay, okay. Hit the guy with the shield. Thank you, Bear. Thank you for using Reap and hitting your own guy. That saved us a bit. Oh, thank goodness. She failed again. Um, we'll stay, still keep you back here in case you get nice and targeted. Um, who needs health? Polearm technically does. This guy technically does. So let's just go here and heal him. We'll wait. Finish your turn here. I don't know, we might as well just roll on the 28th. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, we're really not getting anywhere with this specific Frenzy Direwolf. He is the main problem we have at the moment. Because we can't risk putting someone just right here. And the stupid double elevation is not letting us hit well. I can't even go with Reap to try and hit him on a diagonal. Um, I guess we just recover? Or just go for the 37? I don't know. That was good. Um, now we go for a stun. Oh, we can't stun the Hex. That was good. Okay. You're still staying as bait. You... If I move you up, you're actually full health. Wow! I did not expect him to hit that. Okay, that was good. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Um, this is gonna break his lone wolf if I move there, and it will let us. It will not let us hit that guy either. Ugh, all these stupid choices, because it's such a bad going uphill. We have to waste his turn, and we have to wait your, your turn as well. Okay, you're still alive, little buddy. They're running. Yes. And that bear's almost dead too. No. No way. Just as about we're just as about we're about to win. You convert one of our strongest people. Do we have anybody to stun him? Yes, the support tank could possibly stun. Oh no. Guess we come up here. That's all you can do there. Please get the stun. Please get the stun. <sighs> we don't roll on the 75%. Can we push you into the ditch? Uh, you're probably dead, Mr. Polearm. I really don't want you to die. Thank goodness that didn't do as much damage. I can't kill her with Hex being on us at the moment. Uh, we have to finish our turn. You have really no fatigue. Um, can I taunt the Hex? No, I'll taunt this one. 
and try and move here? Oh, we can't. And days? Yes, we did a perfect days. And I can't do anything to this hex at the moment. That's painful. She's running? Yep. Okay, so they're all ready to retreat. We get ourselves a bear kill. This hex is still not at all breaking her morale. We wait. And she's hexed someone else again. I need to go for this stun. Good. Uh, can I get the stun off? Yeah, good. That means she won't hex next turn. Or convert anybody next turn. Although she did just convert the stupid tank that we have. So I guess we just recover. <laughs> Holy... What?! Since when does our tank hit anything? You just wrecked him, man! Wow. We need to kill this hex quick. Oh right, I almost killed her. Um, we need to kill her once the hex wears off. Not enough action points for Prayer of Life. Damn it. Five turns. Who's, who's gonna act in six turns? There's nothing we can do. We have to try and rotate him out with the weak by moving the support tank or just killing. That's, that's all we have to do. Easier said than done. Can I go? I said go here and then taunt the tank. Oh, that saves her. Okay, then we finish our turn, I guess, or we wait just to see what happens. Gotta kill this hex. We've gotta kill this hex somehow. And we're done. It's finally over. And we almost lost someone. Oh boy. Oh, wow, that was... that did not go well at all. <laughs> but we didn't lose anybody. I mean, we got beat up to heck and back. But we did a $2,500 quest, got nothing in the terms of drops. Absolutely nothing. But we got some XP and... You know, survived. Oh my goodness, the amount of red numbers there and colors. Sheesh. Okay, well, we earned our keep. We definitely earned our keep. And man, you're so close to leveling up. And how did you not level up against that? You guys better be happy with us for that. Oh, boy. There's... There you can see... That's one of the main reasons as to why I hate fighting hexes. It's just so not guaranteed. You've got no idea what's happening. You don't know when you're going to lose a brother. You don't know when what a brother is going to get converted. You can't really taunt the hexes to choose the best brothers that you want converted. It's just a catastrophe. What do you guys want us to do now? Cargo, eh? Ike holds? Are we headed that way? What the heck is that? That's too far away if I can't see it on this map. 
Or I'm just blind. Unless the guy's name was Eichholds? I hate it when they have names for the people that you're sending it to. A day north to by the road. Oh, it's that one. Oh my goodness, I'm so blind. No, we'd happily go this way instead. We also need to keep hunting undead. How much food have we got? Four days. Oh, at least we're in a comfortable amount of money. I mean, that's quite comfortable indeed. So I'm not stressing so much anymore about this food, about the money. Okay, we're happy. Selling for 17, not so bad. Not so great, I mean. Oh, new guy has um level up. Good job, Mr. Tank. Oh boy, you could roll better. How's his perks going? Not many good choices. I guess Steel Brow? Man, he really does not have good choices. Yes, yeah, Steel Brow it'll have to be. Um, you will need up to about 60 resolve there, so... Do we roll on the 2 or do we go with the health? He doesn't get Colossus either. We just have to hope he rolls a higher resolve next turn. Next level. Dang. Okay, let's go wandering. There's nothing here for us. Not even any... Yeah, nobody knew. These guys might have quests. Now, we are still... Ooh, that's Star Wolves. No, we are a bit wounded. And luckily they're scared of us. I mean, we already have all the late game attachments we want for the moment. It never hurts to have more. But for the moment, we're not super desperate on getting more direwolves and their pelts. Secure the Ancestral Burial Grounds. That's actually a really good quest for us. Three days, no. Follow the tracks for 3k. No, 2k, but I meant three stars. Man, it's been too long. <laughs> uh, witch Hunter and a Monk? Oh my goodness. A very defensive Brave Monk with pessimism. That's not so great. Um, yeah, we'll check him out. It's only 75 bucks. Uh, Enchanter? Mm, not so great. I know we're wanting to get pious backgrounds, but I really want to keep checking out Jester's. Except for the fact that this Jester kind of sucks. It's got great resolve. No. A little bit interested in the Witch Hunter. But the money? <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Rally the troops. We don't have a banner. Is this our banner? 55 resolve with one tick gives us, what is it, 85 to 95? With Fortified Mind, that does give us 100, most likely. Inspiring Presence, he practically, oh, he doesn't have Recover. I was going to say, is practically everything we need, except for a good defensive and Recover. I just like that he's got Brave, it really helps. Um, pessimism is not so great, though. He's got no good other stats. Sadly, man. If only he had better stats. I know that's one of our more reoccurring things. <laughs> but monks are cheap, so it doesn't hurt to go check them out. Um, but this guy's a bit too expensive to check at the moment. So we won't. That's not too bad. Wow, that's horrible. And that's not too bad. Cut leg muscles is pretty bad. But then again, negative 40% on a guy that has already no defense. It's not the worst thing in the world. Ancestral Burial Grounds is not that cool. Oh no, it's not here anymore. We must have taken it. 
Yeah, we'll take a tier one. It's most likely undead. And that's what we're hoping for. Especially with the endgame crisis. There's a higher chance these quests will be a bit more undead related. Now, since we have the quest, could we just sit out here for a little bit? It's going to take too long. One to four days. We don't have that kind of time to waste. We're all healed up. We've got our armor out. Let's just jump into it. Oh, no. That's worse than undead. Right, so I guess we take it. Probably. It's just not... Not undead, and we just want to keep fighting undead. We just have to worry about if they've got any big ones in their team, which they probably... Yeah, they probably will. Oh boy, oh boy. Four of them at this level is not, I guess, too, too bad. It's just going to be difficult because we don't have that many immunities. I mean, she's going to be useful. Gotta try and corner the front ones. Um, I guess we finish the first turn. And hopefully rush them as best as we can. We'll go up to the flank there. We want to keep a nice front line so the Reap guy can hit them. And so our ranged uh, melee weapon guys can deal with them. Let's hide behind here. Hopefully attract a couple of them. Maybe not a big one. Okay, they want to go for the weak defense. That's okay. Kind of saw that coming. We just want... Oh, uh, really splitting up. Jerk move, guys. Nice. Uh, I guess Spearwall is probably your only real choice, man. A nice double hit on 50%? Man, we never get that kind of luck. Uh, we need to walk on that body. We desperately need to walk on that body. Walk on the body. Really? We rolled a 100. Congrats, man. Uh, Mrs. Big Tank, where do we put you? We'll put you here? Right? I just don't know how we're going to deal with this flank. Oh, I'm kind of worried about it. I want one of the big ones to run here. Oh, and now he can't get there. Oh, wow, he runs up here? That's weird. Well, at least this guy didn't eat us. Let's go here and go for the hit, I guess. Uh, we don't move you. We still go with you and hit him. We got a big one to flee. That's amazing. We got another one to flee. Morale is amazing. And of course the spear wall didn't do anything. Okay, a big one went confident. That's fine, as long as we didn't make any more big ones. Uh, which heals him sadly. So we just stun him whilst going for damage on this one. And we miss a 73. Congrats, man. Oh, okay, that's useless. Okay, we go for that one. Nice, you cut his ear. Uh, can we please get this stun? Nope, because it's 45%. Wow. That didn't even break his confidence. Uh, we need to reap here to start being more useful. I, I don't know how we're going to deal with him. But we need to strike killing little ones. To try and break them. Yep, you're going to eat. What a surprise. You're going to run. 
good. Oh, he ate. That's not bad. And that's bad. And we miss a 92. Congrats. Let's slow him down with the days. That was good. Uh, we go here, I guess. Can we get the stun? No. We need that one dead. We wait? We go for the double? Oh my goodness, did we seriously miss another? We rolled another 100. Oh boy, one of these days. We need to go for this hit, and we miss. Why are these Nazigars so fast? And we miss another 73. That's a little scary. Yay, we saved him. Okay, we're free. And he's not broken yet. Can we go for this beautiful... Beautiful reap. Amazing, we made it out. Whew, that was a little bit scary there. Just a little bit, to say the least. But we didn't take too much damage. It was mainly just to them trying to eat us. Thank goodness they didn't hit us too often. We didn't really get anything out of that quest. I guess we got paid, you know? That's probably it. I'm slightly interested in following the tracks, but then again... Kind of more interested in just going fighting undead. We have enough money to survive, a little bit of wandering. Uh, selling at 21's amazing. What don't we need? Don't need the pearls. Don't need the helid brains, we don't need that. Could use a little bit of food, maybe? Yeah, we can buy the food. It allows us to go roaming. And not much else to sell. Sadly. Okay, let's go find some undead. Retreat of the Harvester. Why not? I remember we saw that ages ago. But maybe the change... Oh, oh, no thank you. Thank goodness they were running from us. I don't know why. Maybe because of the town guard or something. Yeah. Um, it's been ages, and I know there's probably a necromancer here, but, I mean, we're okay with necromancers. We're doing good with them at the moment. Ooh, there's a fallen hero, though. How are we doing for health? Ooh, a level up. I didn't realize that. Nice plus three. We've made it to some really good attack on this guy. And some really good resolve. Look at that. 117. 28%. Reduced down to 17. Do you get rebound? Yes, you do. I think we'll just grab the rebound because that lets him swing every turn. Without fail. Now his final perk. I really want to go gifted. Because, at the moment, Brawny doesn't seem to be that important for him. He has a good amount of fatigue, and even if he wears heavier armor, I really don't think he's going to struggle. I think we go with the Gifted to give him even more defense. He's sitting on 51 melee defense. Can you believe it? That's insane. It gives him more attack. I mean, he hits every turn, but the chances of hitting 95s will always help him. Give him a little bit extra resolve. Actually, maybe go a bit more health. Because he's already down to 17s. 
I don't think an extra 4 resolve is going to push him to 18. So the right play here... Oh, I forgot. We normally build... Uh, whatchamacallit? We normally put Bloody Harvest and Forceful Swings on our Mind Over Body Sword. That's right. Gifted is probably not the right choice, because these do better. Do we want 10% damage or 10% chance to hit? I think the percent chance to hit is probably better. We want to successfully hit every turn. 10% damage probably won't be enough, because this is already good damage. Let's go with Bloody Harvest. I completely forgot about that, because this build is so demanding that there's so many perks you desperately want with it. Um, but I think at the moment, we're just going to hope he gets to level 16 and to give him a few more perks. Um, this guy, we can't make him a Mind Over Body Sword, sadly. He doesn't have the resolve. So I think we're just going to make him that normal 2H build. Um, but the plus 4 resolve, we will still take, because he does need it. Now we'll go Pathfinder, I think, is the right choice, as well as Colossus. And because it's early on, maybe the Colossus is the better choice. Also, no clarity on either of them. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, um, other than that, I think we're ready to jump into it. During the day shouldn't be a problem. Okay, that sounded funny. What do we got? Oh boy. Not super scary, it's just that guy. If they put Possess on him, that's not going to be so much fun for us. Uh, let's try and snipe the Necros with two-handed sword guy. And keep the bulk of us down here as usual. Now I'm skipping, not skipping turns, I'm pausing the turn. Just because they have two possessions at the moment. And maybe they're going to run up to our face. That's what I'm hoping for. And he ran really close. And he ran back. Okay, so the Fallen Hero is defending Necros. That's not bad. It's just annoying for him. So where do we go from here? We just wait. One, two, no, we wait. Slightly interested in this guy. But then again, I kind of am not. Walking up to him is probably too much effort. So I will go up this way to try and flank. And just maybe taunt. That's right, taunt's a good choice. And yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh, the Necro goes on that one. Oh, hoo, 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 that's going to be a little scary. Necro goes on that one. That's okay. He'll be able to move and attack once. Oh, hello. 86, eh? 86 and nothing. Okay, that was a little scary. Ooh, if we go here, we can kill the Necromancer by splitting. That's a good play. I'm just worried about him being surrounded. 6%. Eee. Is he still taunted? Yeah, he is. Sweet. That worked out really well. Uh, let's go here and reap. Beautiful. We should get more of these pole arms for sure. Okay, he missed on 21. That's good to see. Uh, the res, that's fine. He goes right back down. Uh, we'll go here to help kill this or not. Uh, Spearwall, I guess, just slows them down. Oh, 
Okay, he's living on a prayer. And we can't kill anybody, but we can at least daze this one. Yep, good. That slows him down. I mean, they're already slow as it is. Good. Uh, we need this guy to die. Nice! That ruins his possession. Uh, I'd love to go for the triple here, but we have to kill the Necro. And he's fleeing! No! <laughs> no! We instantly made him flee. That's actually a bad thing. Because now he's going to move from that spot and we can't kill him. Oh no. How did we instantly make him flee? I love that we rolled 95s because that bloody harvest we just got helps us so much there. Um, also, please stagger him. And he's dead. Okay, our front line here is doing great. Our flank... Dang it, I can't believe he's running. Okay, good miss. Oh wow, double 82s, man. Could have done better. Beautiful. Okay, it's still good that he's missing, getting them missed a lot. Not good that we're missing. Uh, he might rally back there, and that's going to be really annoying. Okay, I guess we just go for the kills. Uh, we can go for the triple? Yeah, we can go for the triple hit, which is technically a double hit here. Um, this is painful. I really want to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to risk a hit here, because of that stupid sword and... Risk a hit. And he's the one that hits? Okay, we're staying. And we miss a 95. Wow. Unlucky hit by a 21%, and we miss a 95. Our luck never ends. Uh, I'm worried about this guy, though. Four turns. Can I get the stun? Please. That's gonna hurt. And he misses. Good. Stay down. Uh, let's come up and help, I guess. Goat and Dag guy's not gonna really do much up here. I guess threaten the Necro? I guess. A uh, tank can rush up. He still hasn't rallied. That's a very good sign. Yep, they're gonna rush up to him. That's good for us. Ooh, and this Necro's not having a good day either. Yep, I thought he'd come back. Whoa! Hit him in the head on a 16. So these guys are rolling worse than the Fallen. Okay, we hit all 95s. That's a good sign. Uh, go to Dag for the stun. Nope. Okie dokie. Whatever you say, boss. Okay, let's move up. Let's get the... Let's go here. Let's get the tank to rush the Necro. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, man. Call me farm. Okay, we rush the Necro. Um, we've got two more moves. Let's go here, and then we can threaten that Necro next, depending on what happens. He rallies. Of course he does. Uh, so we'll just wait there. Man, they have high initiative. Okay, okay, that's good for us. A little worried about these guys. And now I'm a little bit worried for... Actually, let's, if we wait, and he stuns, we can move up and slice. That's not too bad. Uh, let's just wait it out for a little bit. Wow, that was awesome. 
And we recover 6 fatigue from doing all that damage. 5 fatigue. That's amazing. Maybe we didn't have to get the rebound so much. We're recovering so much fatigue every turn. I guess in the very long fights that we don't get too lucky with our hits. Oh, I shouldn't have stole that kill. Oh, I didn't think of that. I want him to stack up his kills. Good, we got the stun. I kind of... want to go here and... No way. He rolls a one. Okay, let's... Okay. I, w I should really enter the lottery. Because... I was going to say you can't do it again. That is so dumb. Rolls a one and a two. Well, I guess we're not chasing that necro. Guess we're not. Oh, big guy's back. Big guy's almost back down, too. Let's wait, just in case they res them again, which is what happens all the time. Ooh, he tried to push us away. Cheeky bugger. Nice, you got your first undead kill, I think, man. And we'll go here. Good. Kind of won't allow him to get another kill. Now, I guess that's it for the turn. Just managing all those reses. And he still has the drops. Wow, you're out of stamina, man. You need to work on that. Yep, called that happening. I was kind of expecting the Necros to get back up too, but surprisingly they're not. Okay, we need to kill that one. Or not. I'm trying to feed you kills here, man. I really am. But I don't think you're letting me do it. Oh, the Necro did come back. Welcome back, buddy. Okay, we'll sit here and just... We gotta take the kills eventually, somehow. And if you're not gonna take them, man, someone's gotta do it. Okay. Wow, that didn't do enough. Okay. Might as well take him. Okay. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. That is a common one for me. Uh, let's run them down because we know we can get that kill. I'm just an idiot sometimes, so let's move this along. Oh, why do you have no stamina? Oh boy, this is painful. And he hits on a 25. Not that it matters. Thank you. Sheesh, painful guys. Wow, what the heck? What kind of drop is that? That's amazing. Did the... Did the fallen hero have nomad armor? Well, I ain't questioning it. 300 bucks plus like another 800 bucks plus that? Sweet. Let's keep hunting these undead. Well, I guess you, Mr. Big Boy, do you take this now and then cry because you have no fatigue? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, more importantly, though, let's... Oh my goodness, why is my inventory so horrible? Uh, I think the tank needs it more than you do. 
because she has brawny. Not much fatigue left in you, girl. And you can't do it every turn with the rebound just yet. I mean, she doesn't need to if she gets, um... No, is she the one that I was worried about? Who's the one that has it? You're the one that almost has the enough uh, mind over body to get to 19. So you're at 68. She's at 62. Sheesh. Hopefully they get high enough. That's still at 19 at 70. Okay, we gotta keep hoping she gets higher than that. Um, as a tank, what do we need? We need the immunities, so let's give you Stalwart. Weak, let's keep giving you your defense buff. Actually, wait, should we go for that plus one attack? Probably not. We need your stamina, we need your health, and we need your defense. There we go, that looks a little bit better for you. And because, whatchamacallit, that's 13 fatigue. That's 10 fatigue. 10. 10. Okay, I guess we just give you a spear. I love having maces on people, but my goodness, you can't hit the side of a barn. As well as have no fatigue to attack every turn, so one mace attack every turn is just not good enough. Um, as a weak person, how else will you survive? You can survive by... Um, hmm. Not many choices. But I am considering Fortified Mind. Because there we go, Shield Wall for 18. So we know that 75 is what gets us to 18. Maybe a little bit lower than that if we're lucky. So as long as our other tanks get up to about 75, we'll be set. And now this weak person can shield wall every turn. Actually, no, wait. She can't shield wall every turn. The person with um, iron lungs can shield wall every turn. There we go. She can shield wall every turn at 18. Oh, you can't. Regardless, that gets you down to 9 fatigue, so that saves you a little bit. It's a good choice either way. Staff Reach. Let's treat you like a polearm as usual. And I think we're going with the Resolve. Yeah, we did say we were. Because we're trying to get that Mind Over Body. To be able to stun every turn. 18 is looking good. Uh, Clarity, we do want. Do we need anything else more important? Backstabber? Yeah. Do we want Clarity or Backstabber? He already can hit twice a turn. But his melee skill is a little suffering, so let's go with the backstabber first. We want to try and get those guaranteed... Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to get staff spins. We'll get that next turn. Next level. I keep saying turn. Uh, we need to be able to stun twice a turn, and I keep forgetting staff spins is what needs to get us there. So we'll have to get that next. Please remind me. I will forget. Let's see. Repair things that we can sell... These things we don't care about. And we're pretty happy to go. That took us a little while, sorry about that. Watermill's still over there. Brigands are still up there. Uh, there's still an undead bit up here. Let's make our way that way. I'm worried that that's more of a Necrosavant lair, and they're going to be painful. But supposedly those... Stakes actually do work against Necrosavants. I think we just got unlucky the last time we tried it. Brigand say. Day northeast to Oshenhausen. Which is actually a really good quest. We'll take it. But we'll quickly... Do we need heals or salvages? I guess it's salvage that we need mostly. Oh, sweet. Ambition fulfilled. The nobles want us. Nice. Doing patrol quests would be amazing. Also, they're very happy with the food. 
Also, yes, we will definitely burn the undead to the ground. Uh, 10k takes a while to get. Defeat another mercenary. No, 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 we're going undead for sure. We just did one, dang it. If only we had that a little bit earlier. Anybody cool? Anybody want to hip and want to join us? No, that's okay. Wow, the tools are expensive. Okay, onwards for 300 bucks. I also should, should have checked how much they were selling things for. Uh, 16 is what's over here. There's not much that we can sell anyways, so we'll be alright. Uh, food? Yeah, why not? Patrol? Yes. Uh, what's the other option? There's a tomb? Oh yeah! We're coming for it. There's a free to- ooh, there's undead. A hound? Please, please stay where you are. Uh, we're gonna go get the patrol. Stay where you are, we're coming back for you. Oh no. No, we didn't want to fight you now. Stupid caravan attracted them. Oh, I think that hound moved too quickly. Um, I know what we can do. We are faster than the caravan. Let's let them die. It's a smart play. We're just gonna ditch. Wow, you can only go up there? Okay. The best way to retreat when you're not doing so well in retreating is to move yourself to the edge of the map. Wow, you guys are faster than some of our guys? That's weird. I guess then again, our immune tank is super slow. Okay, you guys focus on the caravans. We're gonna run to the edge of the map and leave this. Ooh, that's pretty strong. Okay, Necrosavant wants to go there. That's good for you. Ooh, they hit the hound. Uh, not our problem. Oh wow, they hit him even more. Lucky, 35 and 40. You're making hounds not look so bad, guys. Stop it. And, wow! Holy crap, they hit this Necrosavant? She stop making my job look so easy. When it really isn't. Now, hitting the retreat button will make your guys instantly retreat and you can't actually con control where they run to. When you do it like this, you can actually control where they go to and make sure they're safe before you actually start running. So what I'm allowing them to do is I'm allowing the enemies to kill the caravan ants because once again, we don't really care that much. Um, oh, the stupid hound. We might actually have to kill this hound. We'll wait. Okay, we have to kill the hound, sadly. If we run from this, do we still get the loot? I don't think we do. Oh, that's gonna be so painful. Let's hit retreat now. Because we're right near the edge. Oh, this is gonna be horrible if we don't get that loot. <sighs> Probably should just run from him. Okay, there's no more enemies for them to deal with, so they're gonna rush after us now. Oh, we're just so slow, we can't get to the exit just in time. Okay, we're good. 
We didn't get the loot. Oh, that's painful. And we got barely any XP for killing him. But we got a level up, which is very weird. 12 XP got us a level up. There he is. Good job, buddy. And with the plus three, we will take... Well, what does he need? He's got Colossus. Uh, he will need the Pathfinder, I believe, because his stamina is not as good. So we go with the plus three resolve. And he's happy. Okay, that was sad. We wasted a hound. Dang it. That's okay. We still get a really good kick out of this quest. And to kill 25 enemies, it's going to be worth it. Come here, undead. We're not letting you get away that easily. And just come to us, please. Hopefully that Necro really rushes us quickly. I'm really worried about these Legionnaires because they're going to hit really hard. But then again, if I put myself here... We can hit both of the Legion... Yeah, that's a good spot. It's a bit dangerous because they're going to hit us once. And then that one's going to run to our face, I think, because he's stupid. But... We're going to get the nice split on two Legionnaires, and that really, really cuts down their Legionnaire numbers. Oh, hello. That's a little scary. But we're at a really good spot to hit him, because he's only rolling on 28s. Let's wait. Hello. Goodbye. Quite the waiting game. Also, how are they not going through these gaps? Okay, it's a little scary, but we're okay. Oh no, he didn't! What? He could have easily went for us. Oh, he wants to go for us. Okay, where the heck are they? They're still geists. That's, that's a tricky thing to deal with. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Necros. Rezzing skeletons. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh yeah, you've got Pathfinder now. That's really good for us. And I think we can daze him. Yep, very nice, very nice. Uh, let's kill the Necro. Oh, nine lies. Forgot about that. I was gonna say, he's a pretty easy necro to kill, but yeah, nine lives does that to you. Let's reap. Let's worry about her getting wrecked by the ancient legionaries, though, but they're a bit slow, so... Oh, there's a third geist. Ooh, not looking forward to that. Uh, let's go for the stun. Because the pierce attack really sucks against skeletons. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. And we go here to get that skeleton. Uh, not the skeleton, the geist. Now I'm slightly worried. Uh, we go for you. Good job. Oh, I probably should have split if I could have. I didn't double check, I did it too quickly. Nice, that's what I wanted. Because that allows us to go and kill him more easily. That was a little scary. Oh wow, good job. Um, but then again, they'll get rezzed, so that's kind of a bad thing. Yep, there they are. Go back down, you silly thing. 
Okay. Kind of really want to go here, but he's going to totally break and get completely destroyed by three geists. Oh boy, difficult decisions. There's not much else we can do with this, can we? That blocks sight? I really want to hit him with this, the staff guy that we've got. Um, also, that guy's not going to do much damage. He's got a pitchfork. Okay, let's get out of the way. So some ranged sort of person can get in there. This is not working exactly the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Good luck trying to scream at the tank. Uh, now can I... Oh, I can't because the stupid legionary is there. Yay! What? Rolled on a seven? I'm healing. Screw that. Dang it, that didn't kill? I need to kill this one, good. Because then that allows the banner to walk up and kill this guy. Or allows this guy to walk up and go for 35. Oh my goodness, that's bad. Well, we're kind of screwed. Okay, this is progressing really slowly. And I'm not super keen about how it's not working so well. Stupid Geists and the stupid Necros are really slowing us down. And the fact that you haven't killed these two yet, man. Come on. And you haven't killed a single Geist either, because you're rolling 80s. Yes! Finally. We get to break through. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Oh, really? How on earth did they instantly make her run? Man, these Necros are doing work. Okay, that allows to kill that Necro. Good job. Uh, can we please do something about these two? Or not? 45. Nope. What? You got checked? What the heck? You've got like 120 resolve. Stop being such a sissy. Let's move the banner up. We might as well. Oh, you you made the banner guy. He's not really a banner. But you made him check his morale? Okay. Okay, almost had him. The possession failed. Thank you.
Okay, the geists are finally gone. Now all we need is... to deal with the necros, and we're set. Have to keep waiting on our turns, because the necros will bring something back. But that necro won't. Very nice. Oops, why were you trying to move? I wasn't done with his turn yet. Thank you for rallying, Mr. Banner Guy. Okay, let's finish everyone's turns, because I think that's everyone done. Okay, let's wait, let's wait. Let's move here and swing. Beautiful. That solves everyone's problems. Okay, well, that doesn't solve everyone's problems, because welcome back. There we go. Finally sorted them out. And Kopesh, nice. We've got the really good bladed pikes. I do like those. And Shivering Ashes, interestingly enough. But yeah, that was pretty good. Um, unfortunately, we've run out of time, and I really don't want to go too over time for you guys. But we'll have to remember to switch out bladed pikes and have to go for those kills on that uh, location next time to finish up this quest and get paid very handsomely for just killing undead. But yeah, till next time, uh, we'll catch us. Hope you enjoyed.